We know everyone has a lot of questions concerning the coronavirus, and our Dr. Frank McGeorge is working diligently to check the answers to those questions. Tonight, addressing two of the questions that are being asked most often. The first has to do with symptoms. It's still cold and flu season, and plenty of people have cough, fever, and other random symptoms. Now, COVID-19 has most classically presented with fever, cough, and shortness of breath. But people, understandably, want to know more. Viewers from Clawson to Detroit want to know, how would I know if I have coronavirus or the flu? Well, you wouldn't without being tested because many of the symptoms are the same. With COVID-19, fever is the most common symptom, but in many studies, the fever wasn't always very high. COVID-19 also produces body aches like the flu, and of course, cough and shortness of breath can occur with both. At this point, given limited spread of COVID-19 in the U.S., if you feel sick, it is more likely that you have the flu or some other illness. Practically speaking, though, if you are significantly ill, doctors would test you for the flu and possibly some other common viruses because we can get those results quickly. If they are all negative and there is still a concern, it is not unreasonable to test for COVID-19. At this point, although it's available for doctors to request, though, the samples would still need to go to the state, so the results would take some time to return. Another question from several viewers addresses a Facebook post that's making the rounds authored by a virologist that advocates the use of zinc lozenges to stop a COVID-19 infection. So, can zinc lozenges treat coronavirus? The answer is no. The research on zinc or any other vitamin or mineral combination to stave off viral infections is very murky and inconclusive at best. Now, I've always told people that if they feel like it helps them, there's no harm other than to their pocketbook. In this case, though, we're not talking about fighting a harmless common cold. While it's true zinc lozenges wouldn't be harmful, because we're talking about a more serious risk, I wouldn't rely on zinc over other personal hygiene habits. I want to be crystal clear. There is currently no therapy shown to be effective against COVID-19. Now, one quick answer to a super common and recurrent question. Are packages from China safe? And the answer is yes. The time of transit, the temperatures, and the humidities that packages are exposed to would kill any virus that might be on the package. So once again, there is no evidence of risk.